Hello folks, it's been a while but I'm back. So, been busy, have a kid on the way in two months, been busy training athletes. If you follow me on social media, if you follow my Instagram page or my Facebook page, you'll see I have a lot of posts of soccer players that I train. So that's what I primarily do, I train high school and college soccer players. So what we're going to do today is work on some different drills that are imperative in order to get quicker, more explosive, work on change of direction, just things that any athlete and any individual can do to help them to get more fit, be more athletic. Because that's how I train my clients, that's how I train myself. And so as you can see behind me I have six cones set up and I'm going through about four or five different drills that I really like and enjoy that are helpful and effective. All right, so first thing, I have my six cones set up here, spacing them out about two feet in between each one. And so what we want to do to start is we're going to face forward and we're just going to do quick shuffles behind and in front of the cones. Okay? So as I do that, some of the cues and some of the things I want to be aware of, I don't want to turn my body as I'm doing it, right, to try to save time. So I want to maintain that forward position so that way I'm working the inside and outside of my thighs. So let's go ahead. We're going to do three of these, all right? And so I want 100% as we do these. Here we go. First one. Let's go. All right. One down. And so we're going to do about a two to one rest to work ratio. So our work rate, that was probably about five seconds to 10 seconds. Then we're going to do about 10 to 20 seconds rest. All right. Second one. Here we go. Right. And as you, you can tell by the scenery, a little different here, I am in my parking spot, which I'm running out to Cubs fans. So this spot's actually gonna get rented out within the next hour or so. All right, last one, here we go. All right, excellent. All right, so we're gonna keep the cones set up like we have them. And now we're just gonna change the variation. So there we're working the frontal plane. Next, we're going to work the frontal and transverse plane. So now we're just gonna shuffle. Okay, so as I shuffle, I wanna get kind of low and I wanna drive off the outside of my leg in order to change direction. Because I can do it like so and just kind of weave but that's not really going to be effective for us. It's not going to get what we want out of the drill. So instead, even if I have to slow down for a sec, get low, drive, get low, drive, okay? Just change the direction. Let's go ahead and do three of those. Here we go. All right, head and back. Also, you can see I'm using my arms, and that's just helping counterbalance and also shift the weight from one side to the next, which is going to be more effective, help me generate more power. All right, here we go. Good job out there. One more of these bad boys. Again, pretty much any sport you play, change of direction and explosiveness is an important component. So that's why these are effective. Here we go. Okay. So now we will use three of our cones. Get rid of these extras. So what I want to do is I want to space the cones a total of 10 yards apart. I'm going to try to stay in frame here. Just walk up to the camera and see how wide I can go. So again, about 10 yards apart or so. <clears throat> they might be 
slightly shorter here, just because again, I'm trying to stay in frame as much as I can. So our first cone, second cone's five yards from that one, last one's five yards from there. All right, so now we're gonna do the pro agility movements. So what we're doing is we're starting facing forward, and then I'm gonna change direction. Boom, sprint over here, touch it, put it over here, touch, and then I'm finishing off in the middle. Okay, so we're working that change of direction. We're working agility and power. So let's also, as I discussed at the beginning, we wanna make sure we're facing forward so we can start with a quick change of direction, change of pace. All right, here we go. All right, so again, I'm gonna take about 10 seconds rest. I'm gonna actually change my starting direction. So start here, go that direction. Here we go. Seconds rest. We'll get into our last one after that. Here we go. All right. So we're actually going to leave these three cones set up the way they are, and we'll add one cone to the drill. I'm actually going to scoot this forward just slightly, make sure they're still in frame. So what we want to do next is, so we have a five yard gap between these three cones, and now our starting cone is going to be 10 yards back. So we're going to do the T drill. So again, this is a good one for change of direction. It's a good one for agility, and you should be doing this one if you want to help improve your athletic ability. So what we'll do is start at our first cone. We sprint to the middle. Once I get to the middle, still facing forward, shuffle in, touch, shuffle in, touch, shuffle in, then back pedaling to our original cone. So again, we want to make sure that Give it 100% and emphasize that change of direction. So meaning, just like the first drill we did, when I'm getting low, be explosive when I'm changing direction. You wanna change your pace. You don't wanna maintain one steady pace, one steady upward tempo throughout the exercise. Change the pace. Careful on that back pedal, I'm gonna run into the wall there. All right, so about 10 seconds, rest. We're we going on to our next. I'm doing kind of an active rest, so I'm walking as I rest. Last one. Great job out there. Okay, so the last thing we'll do, we will grab our cones. Now, we're going to form a little plus sign here with our cones. Basically, we're just setting up four different grids. So this one isn't as dynamic. This is a good one for activation and bounce. That's what we're gonna do. Hands on the hips. 
We're gonna start in one grid. We're gonna hop into the next one, and then back. Diagonal, back, side, and back. And so, I just gave an example of a couple faults. So some faults are, if you do an extra hop, that's a fault. If you touch your foot to the ground, that's a fault. Hands come off the hips, fault. So we want to get this done, the least amount of faults as possible. We go through three times on each leg. Let's go ahead and start. And also, leave in the comments how many faults you've had. I'm curious. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Here we go. Stabilizing. Back. Up. One. Stabilize. Back. Over. And back. So far, one. Oh, two. You can see my left is my weaker leg. Oh, three. Four, five. All right, one more. Oh, got a lot of work to do. That was six. And this left leg, that's for sure. All right. Six. Six faults on the leg. A little work to do. I'm fine with that. So I'm doing it to improve. All right. Let's go ahead and test out that right leg. Oh, I'll give myself a fault for that. I'll give myself two. All right, three. Uh, saved it. So, a little work to do, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance. So there you go, folks. That was about five different exercises you should add to your routine, which are gonna help with agility, explosiveness, quickness, all those things that you need in order to be the most elite athlete you can be. So also, I'll be posting more videos now, more sports-specific stuff help you athletes out there, help you get more explosive, help you get stronger, faster, quicker. And also, you don't have to be an athlete. Again, you know, my motto at the end of the channel, the channel is remember, you don't have to be an athlete to train like that athlete. So anybody can do these things. Again, they're gonna get you great results. This is how I train myself. And I stand by my style of training. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, leave a comment, click like. And I'll see you next time.